Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's some stuff about layers and things that I found a bit confusing for a while. I kind of figured things out by playing around. There's also these three little things up in the corner up here. I've largely ignored. I've been prodded recently going, figure those things out. So I think I have. OK, so first of all, from the beginning, when you first get the thing in here in the assistant manager you get this add adjustment as child layer mask and filter the same so you go with the flow and so now if you add an adjustment say then it appears here as a child and it is attached to this layer and so it works fine as that and if i say Control j to copy that layer I've now got two of the same because it just travels with it. And if I move it, drag it around the place, they move together. I can also shift click here, hit this as a group. So I now got a group of them. And I could even copy the group. Control J for the group. And I've got two groups now. And I can hit shift click for those two. Control G again. So I can have groups of groups. When I've got groups of groups, they appear sort of in a layer there. And then the next one, it goes across one. See the way it goes across a little bit, across a little bit. We're going to come back to this later. OK. So then, if I put in my curves again. There it is. Now if I want to put in another curves. Rather bizarrely, it appears at the top. I personally consider this something of a bug. It's a bit annoying, but you can always drag it down to where you want. And the way you do it is you go, if it's you onto the icon, it goes to the vertical blue bar and it will drop below that one there. If you did on this one, it would actually go below that one there. So if I did that again and curves, I can also drag it onto here and it appears with the horizontal blue bar. And if I let go now, it's in a different position. It's indented, but not quite so much. So it still belongs to this. So this level is called the mask level and this is called the clipping level. By and large, clipping levels act like groups. So if I could say, make it bottom next, go to, if I go to curves from there, it appears on here, but it's now appeared at the mask level. But I can also put this, I can't drag it to the position there. I have to put, drag it outside first and then drag it back in again. I can put it back in here, but now look at this. It's, this is at the clipping level, but I've got a clipping level of a clipping level. And in fact, I could take this one up here, drag this down again, and you've now got a clipping level of a clipping level of a clipping level. In other words, you know, they are all clipped together one inside the other. So each one is going to act like a group. So you can have those group things. You can have sets of clipped layers inside one another acting like groups. OK, so this slightly different. I think also that it's a bit of a bug here in that this year, adding as a child layer, it's adding it as a mask layer. I think it should be really added as a clipping layer, but that's what we've got. OK, let's have a look at these things up here. So I'm going to say put in a, a curves here. And that just appears like that. Now, if I go up here and says insert behind the selection, so I click on that. I uh, then hit curves and it's just gone to its normal position. That doesn't seem to have done anything. And in fact, I can do the same with this. And nothing unusual happens. And the same happens with that one there. However, now if I go up to here, the assistant manager and change this add adjustment as child layer to add adjustment as new layer. So normally, if I add curves, it's going to appear above it. If it's like in the standard Photoshop position, where you've got a linear layer here and you have to deliberately make groups. 
However, if I click on this one here and says insert behind the selection, then add a curves, it's put it underneath it, it's put it below. So it's put it below the stack and in fact if I had this duplicated here and I click on that one again and hit curves it's going to appear underneath the top one there so it's not at the bottom however I click on the bottom one here click on the middle one there which says search at the top and it now appears at the very top it doesn't appear above this one here and this one is more interesting as well let's just go back to one layer if I click on this one and now click on curves it goes to that clipping position not the masking position so this is what this kind of controls hmm. but I could always just go to curves there and drag this down over the name and it does the same thing so it doesn't seem to save a great deal so it's just a matter of kind of what you prefer if you like that that's fine because you can always drag things anywhere and in fact what I do I will use whatever's there and I check every time whether it is I make sure that I know the difference between a mask layer and a clipping layer because they're slightly different what you can do as well if I've got a layer above here and I wanted to put it into the mask position I can drag it down so I've got the vertical blue bar I can also right click it and put mask to below and I can right click it there and say release adjustment and it puts it back up again what I can do as well with that is I can go to arrange and move inside and it puts it in the clipping position and arrange and move outside and it takes it out again this is actually particularly important when doing macros that works there you can't drive things around in macros so so we've got a number of rather strange things here what we can do as well here's another thing yes we need to just be complete so there we are add adjustment back as a child again normally it's going to put the this now as a in the mask position but if I deselect this which I can do through select and deselect layers or control shift D it doesn't know where to put things now so now when I put in curves it's going to put it above because it just doesn't know where else to put it and there's another trick in here if I get the move tool here and I click outside the image that also deselects it so now I hit curves and it goes up there so there we go basic rules decide whether you prefer things over here or down in the clipping position masks by the way will work in both levels there's also something here with shapes by the way so I put on a shape here if I put that into the mask position it asks as a mask and I can move this around the place and there's a torch I can move it to where I want if I put this in to the clipping position it's just attached to this they can move around together but this has no other effect but if I also have that separate here and I take the image and I put this up here into the mask position then it effectively disappears nothing happens but if I put it into the clipping position now then I've got something else here if I drag this around the place if I click on that and drag that around now I'm moving the whole thing if I click the bottom layer and drag the whole thing here I need that to be unlocked now I'm moving the position underneath where that shape is so in other words 
there's a few more things you can do around shapes like this. Anyway, I think that's enough. I've been going on for 10 minutes now. And if you're still here, well done. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.